Hello everybody. I have been asked by a few of my customers to kind of um, come on and maybe do a demo of how to use the Stampin' Up! mini um, die cut machine. I love this thing. I love, love, love this thing. Um, and from what I've been hearing from my customers, they love it too. It's so compact, so small. As you can tell, you can just fold it up when you're not using it and unfold it when you are using it. I use it on my um, craft table all the time. I take it with me to the crafting events that I have. But when I was doing a live the other day with them um, crafty chicks, there were a couple of comments of um, people that might have been having a little bit of difficulties with um, sandwiching their plates. So I told them that um, I would do a, a video on it. So really quick, when you buy this um, machine, you're gonna get all these plates and you're also gonna get instructions um, with that it comes with, okay? Um, we're gonna focus on one, which is the base plate. This is the um, plate it, and it gives directions exactly. Here's one and it says, one and then it says two of the um, number two plates which are right here okay and it has it in English and I think it has it in Spanish too and maybe Korean and other kind of languages also okay um, I use this side I guess you can also use this side doesn't matter um, I would recommend flipping them so they don't bulk um, so what I'm going to do is I have a main plate that I use to cut on. And like I said, when I'm cutting on this, I flip them um, every, either every time that I pass it through or every other time I'll flip it so that it doesn't um, warp um, the way that it does. Okay. Um, and you can buy these separately if you need um, new ones. Okay, um, let's see. Also, here's number three, and here's number four. I haven't used these because I don't have a small embossing folder. All my embossing folders are pretty big. And then, let me see, this one is also used for embossing folders. So both of these are kind of used for embossing folders, but sometimes if you need a thicker plate or a thinner plate, depending upon, um, you know, how thick your cardstock is that you're using, these can come in handy too, okay? Um, so I'll put those aside and worry, we'll just work with plates one and plates two. Um, the dies that I'm going to be using is from our Cheerful Daisy set. It's a polymer set. This one is in the um, year catalog and it is so cute. There's still fireworks going on where I live. So you might hear them in the background. Um, let me see. Okay, so this die I think that's a background to this one. So let me pull it up. Hold on one second. Oh. It looks like it's all in one, which is strange. And see, this is the die that it goes with and it fits on here. Isn't that amazing? I love it. Okay, I haven't used this die, so I am experimenting with you guys. One of the things that I was told, and hopefully this, uh, um, hopefully this um, video will help those of you that may be having a little bit of difficulties with um, getting the base plates to go through. That was the, the complaint that I was told. Oh, look, at, see, I was already gonna make a mistake. Okay, so remember number one is on the bottom and that's the white one. 
This one is number two. I'm using this as my die cutting plate. And what I'm doing is I, I put some washi tape at the end. So maybe in the video you can see it a little bit better. That I am not putting these two right um, face to face with each other on the same level. I'm kind of like leveling the different um, plates as I put them in. So, let, and look at how that works, um, how that goes through. And see, so right now, this is not going through, which means basically, I just got to take this out and maybe scoot these out a little bit differently, just like that. Okay, and then also remember my plate is warped a little bit. So, and see how that goes through now? So if it doesn't go through the first time, that's okay. Go ahead and take it out and kind of level them off so that they're not all going through the machine at the same time. And then it comes through. And look at that. Oh my goodness, look, 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 I haven't ever cut this, this one yet, oh my gosh, look at how beautiful that comes out, and everything still comes out pretty good, you just need a pokey tool for some of them, but look at that, look at how amazing this is, look at how that just came out really quickly, so easy, I didn't, I just need a poke tool maybe for the little, little ones. But I just move this around. That's how wonderful this cutter is. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And like I said, even though that it's mini, it still fits like something like as big as this die. Isn't that amazing? Anyways, I hope this helped with anybody that was having a little bit of difficulties with cutting. If you have any more problems, even after watching this video, please contact me on my Instagram, which is Little Paper Crafter, and I will be more than happy to try and help you out um, or give you a little bit more directions of what might be going on. Remember, Stampin' Up! also has a warranty on their products, such as this one. I'm not 100% how long it may be. Um, however, if you have problems, if you purchase it from me, and you have difficulties, or something happens to your um, die cut machine, contact me, and I will contact um, Stampin' Up! and try to find out what's going on, or what you need to do um, in order to activate your warranty on the machine once again this is kind of a must-have it, it isn't kind of a must-have it is a must-have and it's the mini die cut machine from Stampin' Up! I will include the item number down below in the description and if you guys have any questions like I said go ahead and contact me on um, IG or um, leave me a message down below to tell me what you think of this machine um, hope everybody is doing wonderful and once again remember until next time love your crafts but most of all love yourself bye